Hello, it's Pris, and I have a couple of new words. Um, this one that I'm going to do on this vid is called Candidates for Righteousness, and it was given to me October 28th. Justice and mercy, the Lord said, are the foundation of my throne. My people have cried out for justice from the enemy and have been seeking my heart and face. My heart longs for reconciliation for all my children. My heart is grieved at the plans of the enemy and what I must allow to remove all complacency in this nation. For though so many have sought my hand and face, there are still so many who have gone the way of complacency and convenience and the fear of man. Yet I have preserved for myself a righteous remnant who will stand up like Gideons to the bullies of the enemy. Uh, I add that years ago, God gave me a word about the end times army being like Gideon's. Um, that's in on my website uh, at www.upstreamca.org. And you just click on um, Priscilla's teachings and you'll find it in there. You are called to be the light of the world, the Lord continued. Beloveds, not to hide as Gideon did at first in the wine press, though that is also symbolic, too, of the preparation required to be a Gideon in this hour. For the wine press is where my ways and my heart are worked into you through the word and through circumstances that improve your character, especially humility. For humility is defined by how much you depend on me for answers, for guidance, for knowledge wisdom, etc. Gideon hid because their enemies were stealing and robbing and oppressing them. So many have been searching through the book to get answers for this hour. Have you noticed how much I, I'm doing in the body to draw you closer to each other in mindsets and truth? The enemy comes to steal again in this nation the foundational truths and purposes. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But I am is at the gates along with myriads of my angels to defend the true purposes of my nation, America, the brave. Chaos has been called upon, so there will be chaos, but it will not be to the benefit of the enemy's forces like they think. For I have also made my plans for truth and justice, and they will be executed my way. No one can alter my plans. I am the Almighty One of Israel, and it is I who established nations and boundaries thereof. And it is I who is reestablishing boundaries that have been altered and stolen in recent centuries. True life is found in me and my kingdom. Men for centuries have been robbing and stealing truth from people to hold them back from the fullness of what I created for them and who I created them to be. You are about to see creativity explode, he said, in my anointed servants because of the invasion of the kingdom of heaven come to earth. I am uprooting the devourers of centuries and restoring what has been not allowed to be implemented so that life will be different. And though it may be rough going for a time because of what the enemy is doing, my will will prevail over the nations of the earth that harvesting may restore the many souls that have been in bondage to my enemies. I am longing for this restoration of my children all over the world. Many will give their lives for this restoration willingly and through war. But my kingdom, excuse me, will prevail. You will see and hear things that boggle your mind because the veil that is over the world will be rent and I will give favor to the saints of the Most High. Nothing will ever be the same as it has been. All creation is groaning for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Behold, I have many righteous candidates for glory that will be catapulted into their assignments for the reaping of the harvest and the fire of my glory will consume them and raise them up to the stature for which they are called in this hour for the restoration of all things righteous and just. Flow, 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 river of God, flow into the earth with the force of your light and majesty. Ho, ho, darkness will flee at the sound of the trumps and the fear of the Lord will fall upon my church with the consuming fire of my glory and pretenders to the throne will be removed 
and the righteous ones lifted up for the sake of harvesting the nations. Excuse me. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Do not think to speak wickedly against those I choose, for it is I who lift up. It is I who raises up the lowly from the ash heap. Those who have been rejected, I will make such a display of my glory that people will be in shock and bow down. These will be days of awe and wonder. Prepare your hearts, for the enemy seeks to destroy as many as he can. Also, it will cause great grief and sorrow in so many people who are unprepared. Excuse me. But you are my lights of the world, and you will be able to give them hope and testify of my goodness in the midst of darkness till all is restored. I had kind of a a, a hard day with with uh, this attack that's on my neck. I, you can see some of the redness there. Um, but it was worse, even worse yesterday, and it felt like rope burns. Uh, uh, <laughs> post-COVID complications uh, from just having the disease. So, and whatever from spike proteins from others, who knows? But uh, I have eczema all over my head, my head too, so I've had to cut my hair ho, 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 ho a bit so that it's easier to put stuff on on my head. God, too, will heal this. He is in the process. I had a friend pray for me the other day, and, and it's been slightly better ever since. So um, if you feel led, please say a prayer for me and agree that this will leave. Roman and my immune system will be healed. He healed me before from a Fauciism. So uh, I'm believing he will do it again now. Let's see. Romans 1 is where we were. 16 to 22. This is in the Amplified, so it's a little bit longer. But <clears throat> it it gives more power, I think, to the scriptures uh, with the, wor the words that are in here. It starts with, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, good news of Christ, for it is God's power working into salvation, for deliverance from eternal death. To everyone who believes with a personal trust and a confident surrender and firm reliance to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in the gospel, a righteousness which God ascribes is revealed, both springing from faith and leading to faith, disclosed through the way of faith that arouses to more faith. That needs to be thought about a little bit, but faith leading to faith, disclosed through the way of faith that arouses to more faith. And um, I'll, I think it'd be good to give you an example of this one. Um, the rest of it is, as it is written, the man who through faith is just and upright shall live and shall live by faith. And there's also a reference there to Habakkuk 2.4. But I'm going to interrupt the scripture for a minute uh, to give you an example. When uh, my mother died and she was into witchcraft, I was sleeping on the bed, her bed, okay? And <clears throat> a lot of times, just before I fall asleep, you know, like I, you're in that place of you're about ready to drift off, I'd get attacked by demons. And I mean, literally feeling as if someone was behind me squeezing my chest or someone um, <clears throat> trying to choke me. Different things that the demons came with, different kinds of demons. And um, I had more fear at that time because I had seen them before. Uh, when I first got saved, I started seeing things out of the corner of my eyes and, and sometimes full on or sometimes in a vision, um, seeing demons. So each time that something attacked me as I'm about to go to sleep, I would call on the Lord's name. I'd say, Jesus, Jesus, by the third Jesus, 
it was gone. So after several times of going through this and um, to a place where one night um, I woke up to a whole ceiling full of bat-like creatures and one big huge one that took up most of the ceiling. The rest were small, so I figured it was a strong man that had been over my mom. And... Um, because of her giving in to New Age and, and witchcraft. So um, I, you know, again, calling on Jesus, and, and they disappeared. And then the last thing I remember is that I got woken up because something pounded on the bed and scratched my knee. And I woke up and I saw a demon leaving the room who looked like, from the back, I was seeing the back of him, looked like an old man with scraggly hair that was real long and in a robe. And there was a little bit of light around, you know, around him. And he looked like he was um, light. It didn't look like dark, um, like a dark figure. Like sometimes you see demons, they're, in black form but he was leaving the room and I was ticked by this time I'm so sick of this stuff and I had called out to Jesus and I saw him leave and I ran out and into the living room I thought if he's still here he's gonna get an earful and I and I started reading um Revelation 18 19 20 20 <laughs> And those are good scriptures, too, to get rid of them, and reminding them of their end. <laughs> anyway, so faith to faith, leading to faith. And the more that God does something like that for you, the greater your faith becomes, because you know he is going to rescue you, that he is supporting you, that he will take care of you no matter what. And when he provides for you, when you, you're out of money and you have no hope, you know, all of this is building trust in the Lord. So faith to faith. Okay, that's enough for that. Verse 18 in chapter 1 of Romans. Uh, we'll go back to. For God's holy wrath and indignation are revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who in their wickedness repress and hinder the truth and make it inoperative. Now that's powerful scripture. You have to understand that men for ages have been hindering truth. If you watch Luther, the movie Luther, there's a classic example <laughs> in the Catholic Church, you know, and all this stuff that was going on then. Uh, it's a powerful movie. Uh, okay, verse 19. For that which is known about God is evident to them and made plain in their inner consciousness in their inner consciousness, it says, because God himself has shown it to them. All you have to do is look at the diversity in nature and know that you, and, and the and amazing differences, and, and you know that there is a God. Verse 20, for ever since creation of the world, his invisible nature and attributes, that is his eternal power and divinity, have been made intelligible, and clearly discernible in and through the things that have been made, his handiworks. So men are without excuse altogether, without any defense or justification, it says. And there's a reference to Psalm 19, 1 to 4. Because when they knew and recognized him as God, they did not honor and glorify him as God or give him thanks. But instead, they became futile and godless in their thinking with vain imaginings, foolish reasoning, and stupid speculations. There's a lot of that going around these days. Just listen to Yuval Noah Harari. And their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. Professing to be smart, they made simpletons of themselves. Uh, there's a certain... <clears throat> uh, gate that has made it obvious who he is. Habakkuk 
319, another one. The Lord God, this is one of my favorite scriptures. The Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery, and my invincible army. He makes my feet like hinds feet and will make me to walk, not to stand still in terror, but to walk and make spiritual progress upon my high places of trouble, suffering, responsibility. And then I just wanted to share something by Lana Vazer, um that got posted somewhere, and it's called Expect the Rain. And it says, I heard the Lord say, expect the rain. And then I began to see the rains of his spirit raining down on the garden of our hearts. And no part of the heart was left untouched. Now, see, that's what I think God means when he says, I'm going to break every chain to me. And he said that several times through the years. The rain is coming and going to begin falling in each area. And not only revive every area of the garden of your heart, but will bring refreshment, new life, expansion, new growth and fruit that you have never seen before. Worship or the watering, it says. As my rain falls, healing will come. As my rain falls, fruitfulness will abound. As my rain falls, refreshment will come. As my rain falls, trauma will be washed away. As my rain falls, outpourings of joy, peace, and counter and ease will reign. As my rain falls, exponential growth and life will abound. As my rain falls, creativity will explode. As my rain falls, revelation will pour out and you will hear my voice like the sound of many waters. As my rain falls, weariness will be washed away. As my rain falls, all effects of the previous season and this season that have stolen and hindered will be removed. Many have lived in the contending position like Elijah for so long. Now you are in the birthing position and the time of rain. The drought no longer remains. And that's it for this one. God bless you.